Hi, my name is Kama Bellany, and I am a Libus leader, a member of the quintet in A Little Night Music. I play Mrs. Anderson, and Mrs. Anderson is one of the three ladies that is in the vocal quintet that we call the Libus leaders. Libus leader is actually not what Stephen Sondheim called them. Um, it's just a, a re reference to classical music. Libus leader means a love song singer. I was a color cello soprano in my younger years. Uh, I'm more of a lyric soprano now that I have hit middle age. And so yes, I'm a definitely a soprano um, and I sing a lot of the harmonies in the quintet. So it's really fun for me musically to be able to sing something other than the melody line. I do actually do have some solos in the show too. Um, they're just beautiful, gorgeous vocal lines. Uh, the music in this show is beyond gorgeous, and it's just a joy to sing it. just completed um, another Sondheim show last year at a different company. I was uh, in Into the Woods. I played Jack's mom, which is a great chestnut of a role, a comedic role, which I truly loved. Um, but really what attracted me to audition for a night music was that this is more, um, it's a more of a classical music show. It's more of an operetta. And I have a classical music background. Um, I studied opera at, in the college and the university and graduate school level. So um, this is an opportunity for me to flex some of those muscles that I don't get to use on a regular basis. Well, I love singing in the quintet. Um, it's challenging for all of us um, because we're five singers singing vocal lines together that have been written in very close, tight harmonies. And some of them are very challenging, actually. So really, when you're in a collaborative musical environment like that, we really have to listen to one another and tune so that even though there's five of us singing at the same time, we sound like one voice with different timbres and different textures. It's a really challenging but beautiful process. A weekend in the country, so we act in the country. A weekend in the country, so we act in the country. Well, we're going to stop telling in town. No, actually, I didn't. Um, I, of course, knew Send in the Clowns, and I was familiar with some of the songs, but I actually had never seen the show. And as I've been rehearsing it, I really, truly have fallen in love with all the different characters and the layers of story. Um, this show is really about love and relationships and regret. And um, I think there is something for everyone, depending at what point of your life that you're in. Um, there are certain parts of the show and certain songs that are just so resonant with um, who I was as a person in, in my younger years and where I'm at right now. And even um, we hear Madame Armfelt reflect on her life. He gave me a wooden ring. It had been in his family for centuries, it seemed. But I said to myself, a wooden ring? What kind of man gives you a wooden ring? Um, it really, it, there's someone for everyone, something for everyone at every point of their life and whatever type of relationship they're in. This is a very deep show. And yet it's also incredibly witty and funny. The music, like I said, is just gorgeous. Um, so you will be leaving the theater just singing these songs and your heart will be touched by the story that these actors are telling because it's really quite exquisite. Um, it's really kind of fun. And um, during rehearsal, all the women who are playing women parts were wearing corsets and rehearsal skirts and we're dancing and we're singing and dancing at the same time and, and doing our lines with our props and everything. So the layers are coming. And today while we're recording, we're in the lobby of the theater and um, we're moving into the theater, which is really exciting. So I'm looking forward to doing our rehearsals in the theater in the actual space that we'll be performing in. The only thing we need at this point is an audience. So we are so looking forward to sharing the story with you 
and all the elements that we've brought to it. It is a gorgeous, beautiful production, not to be missed. The cast in this show is so incredibly talented, gifted musically, as well as their acting. So please come and see us. We're looking forward to having you and sharing this delightful, delightful musical with you. We open on January 27th and we close on February 17th at the Saratoga Civic Theater. And you can buy tickets on SouthBayMT.com.